Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to uninstall MySQL completely from your system. If you are trying to uninstall MySQL and if it is getting failed, then do follow my video till end. It is going to completely uninstall MySQL from your system. So let's start the video. So first of all, you have to go to control panel. So just type control panel. And here you can select the option uninstall a program. And now here you can see all the programs installed on your machine. And here you can see the program related to MySQL. So we have MySQL installer, MySQL server, MySQL shell and MySQL workbench. So we have to uninstall all this product from our machine. So let's uninstall it one by one. So first of all, I will uninstall this workbench. So select this and just click on uninstall option. Now it is showing me that are you sure to uninstall MySQL workbench? Yes, I want to uninstall. So I will click on yes option. So now it has started uninstalling my workbench. Okay, it is asking me permission. So let me just click on yes option. MySQL workbench has been uninstalled. Now I'll select MySQL shell, uninstall, yes. Okay, so the installation of shell is done. I'm going to select MySQL server, select uninstall, click on yes. Now what is left MySQL installer, I'll uninstall this also. Click on uninstall, yes. So you can see MySQL product I have uninstalled. Now I will just close this. So just uninstalling the product from control panel is not going to completely remove your MySQL. So now you have to follow few more steps. So what you do, you just go to C colon. And here you go to your program files and just check it out MySQL. Yes, MySQL is there. So I need to remove this folder also. So just select and delete. Yes, delete. After deleting MySQL folder from program files, you have to follow two more steps. One, you have to go to program data folder and another you have to go to app data folder. But these are the hidden folder. You have to just go to view menu and just click on hidden items. So now you can just go to C colon and just here find out program data. Okay, so after getting program data folder, just click on this and here find out MySQL folder. Again, click on this and here you can see various folders related to MySQL. The important one is MySQL server. Just click on this and here we have very important folder known as data which contains all the databases which you have created. So if you want to take backup of any database, you can just copy and paste it to some other location. So I just want backup of this database. So before deleting, just take backup of database if you need. So I'm just pasting it into my some other drive. So I have just copied my few of the databases and now what I'll do, I'll delete this folder of program data. So in my program data, my SQL folder, I'm going to delete. So just select this and delete it. Yes, continue. Okay, now after deleting folder from program data, we have to go to users folder. So again, I will be going to C colon users and then my username is admin. And here I will be going to app data folder. And then here I will be going to roaming folder. And here there is MySQL folder. So just delete this folder from roaming folder. So, okay, so my all folder related to MySQL has been deleted. Now I'll just show you whether my SQL is existing or not. So you can see here I'm typing my SQL. It is not showing me. So this is what the steps you have to follow if you want to remove it. I hope this video is going to help you. So if you want to install my SQL, I have given link in description box as well as you can click on info button to install my SQL on your system. 
so this pretty much concludes my video if this video has really helped you please don't forget to hit on like button also if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel to help me and my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever i post video like this thank you friends for watching my video till end see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care